It's February 7th, 2022. Um, Lynn was watching something before called a Ricky Gervais. That's how she pronounced his name. He was absolutely hilarious. Never heard of him before. Uh, a little on distasteful side, though. Some stuff that he was saying, I was just like, mm. um, But in divine comedy speak, it was just putting nails in coffins, so I found it absolutely hilarious because he found the right target audience, but whatever. Um, then Lou comes up and tells Lynn that there's something with Joe Rogan. He's been big in the news. I keep hearing as I walk through people talking about him. Um, nothing clear. No me clear message, though. With um, my, the Alan Cena Frenchy guy. Uh, what's his name? Um, Bill Maher. That's the Bill Maher and Joe Rogan. So, and I'm sitting there and I'm just like, I don't get it. I mean, it's like listening to humans speak. I just don't get it. I wasn't following along when the whole world was on track to like really whatever. And now I don't know names what actions they took. I mean, I know there's a whole following of it. I just... Um... But what I do want to add in actual clarity for divine comedy is when you get divorced from a person who you woke up to who while you were sleeping, gets on top of you and does this to choke you to hope that you just never wake up the next day. And it doesn't happen once. It happens a couple of times. And a woman reports it to... Same woman, by the way, who also has already been sliced while she sleeps on her abdomen and reported that to the local doctors as well. Um, I don't understand why there's divorce proceedings. Why did Homeland not step in and say, just done? She doesn't need to spend money with lawyers. The man makes $25,000 a year. That's not even enough to buy a BMW. He makes less than the cost of a BMW as an annual salary. There are no assets. There are no hidden assets. There are no foot lockers full of cash somewhere. There is absolutely effing nothing. Because this is like just a step aside from the hood. And they, there's been some really sick stuff going on the way in that was allowed. And then to, the kicker was she wakes up next to him after already being sliced with some pregnancy she never wanted. She wakes up and he's trying to kill her after the baby was born. And there's just, what, NSA doesn't step in? Like they didn't know? Really? Really? You know that Saddam Hussein's in a fucking hole in the middle of fucking desert, and you could go find him out. Nobody told on him either. Hello? For those of us that know that the walls do talk sometimes, and they seem to alert all those scary characters in law enforcement, space between here and there and holographic universe and all, one big brother who's on third watch can do me a effing favor. I mean, first of all, I shouldn't have even been in a system design where the 1976 whatever was even able to get hands on me. That's number one. But then after it happened and my abstract said whatever happened... You mean that nobody in the whole wide world could have taken one day off from, like, 
being super special to help get me out of that situation. No, no, instead, they just let me keep continuing to go as if nothing ever happened. And that is if, and stay married as if I would save. I mean, it's been a really disgusting appearance in humanity. And now, so he makes let in one year's salary, he couldn't eat if he saved every cent and didn't have to spend it on food, health, clothing, whatever. He wouldn't even be able to f buy a BMW. And that level of money mechanics has to hire an attorney to get divorced. I'm not quite sure how that happened either. I'm not quite sure why it cost me money in order to do so after I've been mutilated and attempted assassination on my life. I don't understand why there wasn't better guidance, hand-holding, and one decent human in the entire world couldn't step in and help me out. Like, I hear that there's some people somewhere that have a lot of money. I just do. I mean, do they ever adopt an underprivileged child? Because that's what I guess I would be considered now. Just curious. So now, as if that first debauchery, which they call marriage by certificate, for however and whatever happened, after that forced off, like, road, it more of like a sidekick, I'd say, where, like, you're going and you just take someone and you fucking kick them off of the set path between whore, Horus, and Seti. For someone who already was born with a sun, moon, and stars contract. That by itself should have been top priority. What I don't understand is why all like the human conversation is so much more fucking important. So now I'm stuck in... And so they're saying things like term limits, whatever. Here's the thing. It costs $15 to put your rapist's name and file it with the states and the police department. So dumb fucking and useless. So now if you file a rape report with a marriage certificate, just because you're afraid that the humans are that dumb, they're not going to be able to like catch on or the guy might get away. Just curious. When you're done catching your own criminals, why can't you just divorce that as easy as it was to file the paperwork to put the assailant on a piece of paper? Just curious. Yeah, humanity's got a couple of things they haven't figured out yet with this societal way that they're running the shit show. Because in New York, the divorce rate, they say is like 50, 55%. Joe Rogan and the other guy knows, Bill Maher knows, seems like the lawyers are the ones making out. Great. Okay, so what happens to the hoodlum kids that don't even make an annual salary to buy a BMW car, let alone be able to feed, clothe themselves, and now they've got, like, additions because life is so fucking backwards at this level while you're all, like, you know, putting in for retirement plans and vacations and timeshares and shit. Right, yeah, I got that. Some of us can't even, like, afford day-to-day -day operations on our own so, because we've been so left in the gutter. So at what point does that kick in where you make, like, one thing easy, like naming the, perp the perpetrators that hurt you along the way, and then if the paperwork isn't correct, giving an option... To just cut the paperwork without needing, like, needless bills, extra bills on top of the ones that are already benefiting the people that kind of have it all right. It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Keteruza, it's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is Broken, it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 1361. I also find it interesting... I didn't really find the conversation funny. 
But, um, I also find it interesting that, um, the second shitbag after the first one with the mutilation, the rape, and the attempted murder, um, that I got away from, um, and then nobody talks about. I'm just curious when the second shitbag like got stuck to the bottom of my shoe. We'll call it gum shoe at this point because nobody in has money actually gives a shit or does anything correct. Um, so I'm just curious at what point like when I got hit with needles and then he he had somebody come over and I got hit with something else and then was out on the bed for three days. I couldn't even move or get up because he wanted to have time, 1975, to go participate in some sex party thing that he knew I wouldn't take part in. And somebody came into my house and hit me with something. Whether it was drink or whether it was by needle, I don't know. But for three days afterwards, I couldn't move. There was some chick, Sarah, there for that day. She was the one who was with Jay that went to go get married in Arizona. from, And I knew her from Chase. But she left Chase to go whatever. I couldn't move three days after. Um, I was so sick. I was dizzy. And I was alone with the same person that set up that entire whatever. Again, not that anybody, like, gives a shit about humans, actually checks in or cares. I mean, it just seems like they keep setting me up with these really dangerous situations and just leaving me, like, on some slow burn where they can just go on with their life and forget that these, like, dirty little secrets and skeletons' closets actually exist and are getting worse. I mean, does anybody have any responsibility in this whatsoever?